हर हर महादेव गाइस आई होप ऑल इज वेल दिस इज आर फर्स्ट डे ऑफ लर्निंग वर्ड प्रेस एज यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ वर्ड प्रेस लर्निंग सीरीज इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस सेवरल टॉपिक्स अबाउट द वर्ड प्रेस नाउ वी विल गो थ्रू ईच टॉपिक वन बाई वन मेक श्योर टू वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज केयरफुली एंड डोंट मिस एनी ऑफ दैम सो आर यू रेडिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट विद वर्ड प्रेस इंट्रोडक्शन वॉट इज वर्ड प्रेस WordPress is a free or open source tool used to create websites and blogs. In the other words, we can say it's like a website builder that helps people to design and manage their websites. Why choose WordPress? Because it's easy to use, flexible and lightweight. The best part of WordPress, we can create fully dynamic website using WordPress. So user and clients can manage their own website without depending on any others in a wordpress we can create almost any type of websites so now let's explore how to install wordpress on live server and local server i will create a separate video for installing wordpress on local server so now let's focus on live server we need two things domain name and hosting your domain name can be anything whether it's based on your business name and your own name for better understanding let's move to the system and learn how to install wordpress on live server welcome back everyone so we are learning how to install wordpress on live server so first thing we need to download wordpress so you can open any browser and just type words download wordpress This is the WordPress official website. Click on it. Here you can see the WordPress latest version. If you want to see all versions, just click here. Let's open in a separate tab. You can see the all versions here. Everything. But we will go with the latest version. So let's download. Click here. it's downloading till then let's create subdomain or domain so i have my hosting and domain on hostinger.in so i'm going to log in with my email id because i have already registered with my email id or uh, maybe you have your username and password this is the dashboard of hostinger and this is the my primary domain but i am going to create subdomain so uh, this is the main domain hsteamwork.com and i will use subdomain here is the domain just click on it sub domain your sub domain or domain name can be anything so we can use anything so let's use wordpress sites wordpress site create it will create a sub domain directory in your main files so let's open the files file manager every hosting has file manager where we can use files and database so i have created this folder so this is the by default files so i'm going to delete okay and uh, let's see what happened with the wordpress it's it's downloading okay till then we can create database database management here we can use database name database user and password your data database name can be anything like wp321 and username same we can use same wp321 and password can be anything but let's generate 
okay uh, we can use this one let me open the notepad plus i use notepad plus for coding you can use uh, anything notepad notepad plus and visual studio this is the my password for database wp321 it's creating so this is creating so now we have downloaded wordpress so let's upload in a particular folder upload click here file and we can choose the folder it will take uh, maximum one minute to upload on the server so you can see the other things here settings spaces and uh, new folder files stress so uh, this is uploaded let's extract maybe uh, we can use any name like wp extract in a particular folder now we can select all files and move in a particular folder we have wordpress site so back back here move it here after move the all file in a particular folder you can delete all extra files this is the subdomain subdomain name and I have a steam work this is main domain so we can open like this enter it will show first uh, first page of the wordpress here we can choose different types of language but we will go with English so click here it will ask database name database username password database host name so we have already created everything database name username and password so let's go database name we have database name here we can search we can search like we had wp321 it will search because i have too many database here so this is the username and database same be database name and username we have password this one so click here password localhost database host mostly localhost but if we have a different types of host name it could be ip address or something other so we can use here this is the table prefix if you want to use wp or your customize any uh, name you can use here so here you can use anything just submit so this is the next window run the installation click here it will take one to two minute site title site title could be anything like wordpress username you can choose username but strong don't use admin it's my suggestion so let's use here uh, hello wp password can be strong so we are going to use this one let's keep here same and email id you can use your email id this is for su search engine we will talk later about it so let's install wordpress this is the next window so you can save your username or password here or you can copy but i'm going to save it and login this is our username and this is this is our password you can click here and see the password just login and it will open a wordpress dashboard taking some time so 
this is the wordpress installation welcome wordpress this is the notification about from the wordpress you can dismiss it dismiss it click click here okay no it's not so this is the wordpress and you can install wordpress on any of platform it could be godaddy host getter site ground and there are many platform you can use for your domain and hosting i don't want to recommend <laughs> anyone here you can use anyone you can compare the, but you can compare the pricing if you think godaddy will be better than the hosting then you can go with the godaddy if you have a strong uh, pricing then you can use other like amazon or uh, google cloud but this is perfect for the uh, starting so we will go with anything depend on you and so i think this is done with the wordpress installation we will talk about the all menus dashboard in a next video i hope you enjoy it and you learned how to install wordpress on live server okay guys so keep watching keep learning i'll catch you in next video